What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite auntie Mo and we are back for another episode review. This is The Real Black China, season one, episode two, not exactly a walk in the park. Now let me tell you, if you don't appreciate the relationship you got with your mama, watch this goddamn show. Cause this goddamn mama on here, Tokyo Tony, is batshit ass crazy. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit the notification button so you will know whenever I upload new content. Now y'all, if you thought your mama was crazy, you, you clearly have not seen the real black China. This woman, Tokyo Tony, is out her goddamn mind, certifiable, straight jacket, pillow ass room, give her ass some Demerol out of van crazy. She batshit crazy, y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into this review. So it starts off where it ended last time, right? On the last episode. Tokyo Tony outside of China house yelling, acting a damn fool. Now, you know, China live in this rich ass white neighborhood. She said that they didn't already had the fire department there, paparazzi there, CPS there. Like they don't need no more bullshit going on there. Now they got Tokyo Tony outside being as black as she want to be yelling, cussing. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Fuck this bitch. Like, she went goddamn crazy. She out there even yelling, I don't care if this bitch kill herself and fuck the grandkids too because I'm done with they motherfucking ass too. Like, crazy. She don't feel like she was wrong in this situation whatsoever. She felt like China is disrespecting her because China blew some smoke in her face, which, yeah, she was sitting up there, you know, on her little vape pen or whatever. But at the same time, Tony, you was right here. Spit everything all in this girl face. What the fuck you expect for her to do? And y'all, China is so hurt. She's like, she's she can't even get her cry out because she is so hurt. She's so upset. And it's like, it's crazy because at the end of the day, she's still saying how much she loves her mom. And if her mother would have came back in there civilized, had a normal conversation, that they could have a conversation. After all this crazy ass yelling that her mama was doing, she still wants to have a relationship with her. Now, Tony... Like, if you can't see how hurt your daughter is in this, as a mother, my damn self, I would never disrespect my baby like that. I would never regard. And then, Tokyo gonna have a nerve to say, I don't care if I sell her pussy to a whole army. You don't ever disrespect your mama. Bitch. What? Who says that? Who fucking says that? And at the end of the day, Tony is really upset over a fucking car. That's all she kept yelling about was a car. You bought me this car and then you took the car away from me. You bought me this car and then you took the car away from me. It's like, woman, I don't even know the situation that happened with the car and, and all this said and the other. I do remember seeing something on social media a couple years ago where she had bought her a Maxima or some shit like that. But... Ain't no telling what happened from here and there and why she put the kill switch on that car. You probably deserve that just looking at these two episodes. Bitch, you deserve that kill switch to be on that goddamn car the way you goddamn out here acting in this white neighborhood in front of these goddamn people embarrassing yourself and embarrassing your child. Girl. Y'all, so the next day, China, her assistant Ashton, and Treasure, they're all by China's pool talking about everything that happened. Now, Treasure's her best friend. She wasn't there, but Ashton, he's her assistant. He was there, right? And, you know, they're explaining to Treasure everything that happened. Now, the reason why I love Treasure, she's one of them friends that's not going to be on your side just because she's your friend. She was like, okay, so what happened, China? Because I know how you can be. So were you the aggressor? Were you picking at your mom? Were you provoking? her in some kind of way that made her react the way that she did or how did everything go because I know how your mom can be too and Ashton was like no this time I can see how China can feel attacked because she was attacking her her mother was in her face spitting acting the bitch act like she had goddamn rabies oh oh rabbit ass bitch after acting goddamn crazy and then um China is, again, she's hurt, but she still wants to have a relationship with her mom. She's asking Treasure and Ashton if they would reach out to Tokyo Tony to see if she would, be, she would be willing to have a conversation with them. Now, Treasure's like, you already know your mama don't like me, so I don't know how that goddamn conversation is going to go. But Ashton feels like if Tony and Treasure can repair their relationship, then maybe that'll help towards China and Tony uh, repa repairing their relationship. 
because it's still not even really clear what issue Tony has with Treasure. Quite honestly, it seems like she's jealous of their relationship because they are so close and China calls her her family and China considers her to be her family and she takes care of her like her family. But then at the same time, China ain't up, I mean, Treasure ain't up here cussing going fucking crazy, putting their relationship and their business all over social media. So you can't get mad at this girl because that's her best friend and she chooses to take care of her the way that she does. Y'all, like, this this episode really ran me hot because nothing in this Tonio scene herself, I mean, Tokyo scene, I'm calling this bitch Tonio. We gonna call her Tonio. Tonio don't see where she went wrong in this at all, like, to her, everything is China's fault. Everything is everybody else's fault but hers. You know, they nervous about it. They like, okay, we we going to see if we can have a conversation with her. But you know your mama batshit crazy. So we're going to see where this goes. You know what I'm saying? And them some ride or die good ass friends, they are willing to take a whole cussing out that they know Tony going to give them just to see if that can repair the relationship between her and China. But Treasure let it know, bitch, don't get it twisted. I'm Detroit all day. So if she come up in my face with all this whoop de woo ya ya spitting and, and exfoliating my face with her skin, I mean, with her spitting and all of that, we going to have a problem. And Treasure, I was right there with you. Bitch, we can knock up with other things. Your mama not. She not going to yell and go crazy like that. No, no, baby, that's not how we do that as grown women. Y'all, uh, Tony, Tonio, Tonio is with her little man friend. I think it's Rossi, the dude that got all the beard but no hair on his lip right here. So when he talk, he just look real fucking crazy. Well, they over there in their hotel room talking. And Tonio is talking about basically how China is in the wrong for everything. How China disrespected her. She can't believe China tried to throw a chair at her. She can't believe China cussed her out. She can't believe China sat there and didn't say anything. Like... Everything that she did was a reaction to what you were doing. Tokyo Tony really feels like regardless of what your mother says to you, how bad she cusses you out, how evil she is to you, that you're just supposed to sit there and take it because that's your mama. Girl. 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 I get you supposed to respect your mom and dad. Trust me. Trust me. I know. I get it. Get, trust me, I know. But at the same time, ain't no real loving ass mama gonna dog you out the way that she dogs her out. I mean, she, she, girl. It, it, hold on, time out. Side note, y'all. Tokyo Tony, with this goddamn kimono that she had on, with this jacked up lace front and these chopsticks, and all of this eye makeup and glitter and shit that she had going on, baby. When I tell you, she looked like she could have been working at Timmy Chan's in Houston serving fried rice and fried chicken. She looked like a ghetto Hashimoto. She looked crazy as hell. She looked really fucking crazy. But that's neither here nor there. That's here nor there. She says that China needs counseling because she feels like China is crazy and she's bipolar. Girl. Child, I'm, I'm just going to let Jesus take the wheel on that. Because it take a crazy bitch to know a crazy bitch. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, y'all, Ashton and Treasure end up calling Tokyo Tony, right? Now, Ashton was the one that called because Treasure was like, you already know if I call, she see my face, bitch going to go left. So, Ashton was like, yeah, you right. Let me go ahead and call. So, he calls her. She greets him with the warm hello on the phone. Shit is going good until he tells her, I have Treasure here with me. Then the bitch whole demeanor, whole mood change. It's like... First of all, how can you be that bothered in your spirit to where somebody who ain't even said nothing just got you all out of whack like that? Like, you too grown for that. You 50-something years old acting the way that you goddamn acting. Girl, stop. Stop. But anyways, Ashton is like, I got treasure here with me. We, you know, I was there the other day. I seen how shit went. It went fucking crazy. And I just want to see, you know, what we want to see, what we can do to help y'all repair y'all's relationship. Because it's obvious you want to be in China's life. China needs her mom in her life. So what is it that we can do, we, we can do to get y'all on one goddamn page? Because right now this shit is crazy. And she's like, well... I'm willing to meet up and willing to talk, but I didn't do anything wrong and China's in the wrong and she's got all these people around her that's fucking her up in her mind and making her think this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Really, she's talking about treasure. 
We all know she's talking about treasure. She don't like that girl for whatever. For, I want to know what she don't like the girl for. I mean, she hate that girl. And, and it don't seem like treasure did anything wrong. But again, this is episode two. This is my second time seeing her on my TV screen. So there's a whole history behind that. What it is, I don't know. But I, I got to know. I, need, I got to know, goddammit. As much as you hate that girl, I got to know. So Ashton is like, okay, so we, where can we meet up at? Where can we talk? This bitch, Tony said, let's go meet up at the park. That's a ghetto ass, hood rat ass bitch. You want to go meet up in the park? Because she's like, you know, it's beautiful scenery. It's plenty of space. Why are you worried about space and opportunity? Like, you really think it's going to go left like that? Like, you walking into a situation ready to fucking fight. Like, wow. And you somebody mama. But now, so as soon as they get to the park, off top, Tonio got a whole goddamn attitude. It's like they spoke, they said hello, and she's like, what's up, what's up, what's good, what's up? Like, what, what am I here for, what's up? And so Treasure's like, okay, well, we just really want to talk, see what it is that we can do to help the situation. Because you and China need to get back to being mother and daughter. Because right now, y'all are like enemies. And y'all don't need to be like that. Girl, when I tell you, Tonio just goes off. Now, nah, this is what it is. She got these uh, these fraud ass bitches and these niggas around her that's all up in her ear uh, being an influence on her and if she had some real ass people around her she wouldn't be in the situation that she's in right now and what kind of friend are you y'all met a strip club and now you think you her family like she starts going off at the end of the day it sounds like Tony is really pissed off about a fucking car cause once again she brings up the whole situation with the car it's like girl at this point you couldn't win out and got your own damn car at this point while you are that upset about a damn car look i get it she gave you a gift but then she took the motherfucking gift back if you was acting the way that you was in clearly the way that you acting now bitch i'd have took that car back from your ass too i ain't gonna even lie you all on social media cussing this girl out putting all her business on there Calling her out her name, talking about her, telling her you slapped the Botox out of her face. Like, as a mother, who says that? Y'all, Treasure and Tonio damn near come to blows because Tokyo is just all in her face yelling like, no, fuck that, you ain't shitting, and you ain't no real ass friend. And at the same time, Treasure like, bitch, I, I, I am. I'm a real ass friend and I'm a real ass bitch give a fuck about your ass either. I'm sitting here trying to be respectful to you, but you yelling, doing all this extra shit, y'all, and they didn't get nowhere. They got nowhere with it because Tonio, Tokyo, wasn't open to receiving anything. And I've dealt with people like that before. I'm related to people like that. It's like you can't get through to somebody when they can't understand where they have gone wrong in a situation. Like you can totally say, like China even said, like, I know I'm not perfect. I know I've messed up this. I know I've messed up that. I know I've done this wrong. But at the same time, you as well are a reason why we have a lot of issues. But Tokyo Tony can't see that. All she sees is everything. China, you did this to me. You did that to me. You didn't do this to me. You gave me this and you took this away, you didn't do this for me, you do that for them, you do that for them, you didn't do this for me. It's all about her. And it's never about where you went wrong in a situation. That's why this shit here with them is fucking crazy. China, girl, I wouldn't tell nobody to cut their mama off, but girl, you don't have to cut her off. She is certifiable, batshit, padded room, crazy y'all and that was the end of the episode right there the next episode look like it's gonna be crazy again because this time china and her mama gonna meet up in a public restaurant to have a discussion to talk really if y'all couldn't get the shit together in your house what make you think you finna get up here in this white folks restaurant y'all gonna fix that shit lord y'all but you already know next week sunday i'm gonna be here with the review and i'm gonna have it ready for you if y'all like this review let me know what you thought about it please like comment subscribe and share and i will see y'all in the next video peace out
What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.